Hey DigiFans, I'm working on some uh, basic videos using MDS, just getting you started and I've heard from a lot of you about being unsure where to begin. <clears throat> so in the previous video we started off with a scrapbook um, doing a 12 by 12 and I'm doing a designer template so it's already done for me I'm just going in and dropping uh, dragging and dropping my photos and I can go around and change things as I need. So on this video I want to talk to you about the design center here on the right side. Um, you have a design center over here on the left. You also have lots of fun buttons up here. So I want to talk to you about this side first. This is uh, the right side, the design center over here. This is the one I tend to work the most with. Um, great things over here. Let's start on this uh, page. Uh, previously I had opened it up. This is uh, I believe the yeah, it's the first page in this template book. Um, now when I come into this uh, you'll notice these this gray line around here. That's called the bleed area. Uh, I tend to not like to have that on when I'm creating. Um, what it's basically telling you is when you go to print this book, if you're inside of this uh, gray area, the bleed area, you could potentially, um, those could be cut off during the print. Um, depending on where the page lays, and you could figure that out uh, throughout your book, because uh, you can come up here to uh, view and view the project. Uh, when you're viewing that project, you'll be able to see exactly if you need to make some adjustments. So I come up here to view, I go up to bleed area, and I actually uncheck that. So now I have uh, the full canvas of what I'm working with. So what if I didn't like the background? I could come over here to my background papers, and here you're going to find you could just do color. I could click on that. I'm going to have all my Stampin' Up! colors. Okay. Or I could do cardstock. Um, cardstock, I love our textured cardstock. I love it to feel it, like to make, you know, real cards. Um, but I also love it for um, this kind of, for, for MDS as well. So they already have very vanilla. Um, let's just play around and use craft or crumb cake because I love that. And I click that, and there you go. I've made that into crumb cake. My point is you can make these templates your own. You can also do designer series paper. When you click that, all your designer series paper comes up. Uh, any designer kits that you have. And then these are some other papers that I have in my kits. We're going to leave the rest alone and move downward. Photos. You can add uh, your photo boxes. Uh, if I wanted to add another photo, I would just click photo box. I'm going to trim that one down just a little bit and bring it right above there. And I'm going to come over here to where my photos are. And I want that photo right here. And I'm just going to drag and drop it in. Now, I want this photo to be matted, so I'm going to click matte. And here I can change the size of the mat to make it a little bit smaller. And I can even change the color to any color I want right there. I will make it, mm, I'll make it white. And hit OK. And there you have a matted photo. Now, the big thing I always hear from people is, you know what, I don't really like digital because it's all flat. It never looks like it has any dimension. Well, that's really not true because you have a drop shadow box here. And just by hitting that, it's going to add a drop shadow or that uh, visual effect of it being raised. Oh my, I love that. That's one of my favorite buttons. Now here's the real cool part. You have a zoom in and a zoom out button. So I can zoom in, and what I love about this, it does not change, it doesn't distort the picture at all. And it's not going to when it's printed either. Now that's cool. 
I can rotate, but I can also change the opacity. Opacity meaning I can make it really light. Now, you've seen probably some layouts that are ginormous, and you can see with the opacity, let's zoom back to normal here, but isn't this kind of a cool layout when you can make that photo one entire page and then you could just journal on top of it. Isn't that cool? Alright, so we're going to delete that. Alright, now let's go down to text. Text, you can just add a text box. I'm going to click off of it and then just kind of move it around. Double click it and I can choose my fonts. You want to search for a font? Type in, um, I have a favorite font, CK Ali's Hand is one of my favorites to use. I just type in CK and CK Ali's Hand comes up. I can choose that and then go ahead and type. Down here on embellishments, this is where all my embellishments are. Let's add an embellishment. Uh, what I'm going to do is add some tape. I'm going to click on that and then I'm just going to add some digi tape. I want to give that a drop shadow to just make it look like it's raised up a little bit. You have the uh, two buttons here I love, recolor. Now be careful when you're recoloring things because sometimes you're not going to get that effect that you want. It depends on what kind of a file type. On this one, it looks great. I did early espresso, and that's what I got. But sometimes you may see a lighter color. But here's the other cool thing. Um, when you double click, or I'm sorry, click on that, go to your crop. If you didn't want it that big, you just wanted a little piece, I can crop it down. Okay. I'm going to delete that. You can also change the opacity. You can turn, you can mirror, you can flip. All these buttons you just need to play with. All right, before we get into the next one, I'm going to cut this video uh, to the end here. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about punches and stamps. All right, I'll see you again.